Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Welcome to our first ever Clay Douche Mation recreation of the 2012 presidential debates. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi and I will be moderating tonight. Joining us are President Douche Bama and Governor Mitt Douchey. Welcome to you both. What are the major differences between you on how you would create new jobs? Let me start by bringing up Michelle because she's more popular than me. I put some of taxpayers' money back into education so a few laid off teachers could come back to work for less pay. I'd also create some energy jobs. Governor Romney wants to extend the Bush tax cuts that destroyed our country and give the military money it hasn't asked for instead of educating our kids. First of all, he's totally lying about my plans. I don't want to help rich people, just rich corporations. People's incomes are going down and fuel prices are going up, which is why I too think we should allow corporations to destroy more American soil, water, and air without regulations while extracting fuel for their own profits. But hey, I think of the people sometimes. They'll have jobs for a part of the process. I will regulate these corporations even less than any other administration and give them more public land for their private profits. More people will get to work for less than minimum wage and without any benefits. I said I'd give middle class families tax credits of $3,600, and I kept that promise. We need their mindless consumer power. Romney wants to cut $5 trillion in taxes, spend more on our military, and pay for it by closing loopholes and deductions. But he doesn't show a plan to close the loopholes, nor would it cover the costs. Economists can back me up on this. I have magic tax cuts that won't add to the deficits. My kids are liars. They taught me that if I keep repeating myself in a confident and authoritative tone, people will believe whatever I tell them, no matter how illogical or untrue. I'm going to reduce the taxes paid by middle-income families. Obama is hurting the middle class. Obama is hurting the middle class. Obama is hurting the middle class. Romney doesn't understand arithmetic. Do you want a president that just doesn't get math? I'm here for the 97%. Romney is for the 3%. That equals 100%. Now I will try to make a Donald Trump joke. I know a small businessman. Obama hates jobs and will destroy every last one left in his country if he gets another term. I will increase jobs. Both of you are way over your time. This is fun, isn't it? No, it is the opposite of fun. I want to say something else. Let me repeat my lies a few more times to ensure neuro-linguistic programming sets in. My plan is totally new and improved. More people are getting free food. Isn't that crazy? People who can't find jobs should starve with dignity to lower the unemployment rate because then there'd be less people. PBS and Obamacare can suck it. I'm not borrowing another dime from China unless it's to help wealthy corporations. The president and his economists are the ones who are bad at math. Romney is stupid, but damn he is charming today. He will charm you into an even greater depression than we've ever had. You know who else is charming? Bill Clinton. He did what I want to do and created 23 million new jobs and brought our economy from a deficit to a surplus. Then Bush, who sucks at math like Romney, sunk our economy by doing what Romney wants to continue. I am blue like Bill Clinton. Romney is red like Bush. Go blue. How do you two differ in how you deal with our nation's deficit? Being in debt is immoral. I'm talking about 75% of Americans in debt right now. Shame on you. The president wants to raise taxes, but I won't work when he does it because only I know the secret formula of how to raise taxes while growing the economy. This place was a shithole when I got here. I'm just trying to balance it out. Romney is unbalanced and will do away with public schools. You're way over your time. Simpson balls economy, Simpson balls economy. Are both of you just too dumb to get debate rules? Obama is a job murderer. Watch out. He may be after your job next. I am not a job murderer. Will you continue to let a job murderer run your country? Also, Obama wants to make us like Spain. Well, I no habla espanol, el presidente, so screw Spain and screw you. Romney is anti-revenue, which means more cuts. He is a cutter who is imbalanced. He's trying to take Medicaid away from old people. Do you hear me, old people? Romney wants to take away your hearing aids and Medicaid. 
You squandered $90 billion in losing green energy investments. You're a loser, and you pick all the losers. I'll keep repeating how much of a loser you are until people forget to question the validity of my math again. Finally, my accountant is smarter than you. So listen, old people, he's lying. States will control Medicaid much better than the stupid federal government losers could. What do you guys think about Social Security and entitlements? Remember my dead grandma? Talking about her makes voters like me more. And she was independent because she depended on Social Security and Medicare. I loved her, so I won't take Social Security or Medicare away from any seniors. Neither the President nor I want to piss off the seniors by taking away their Social Security, as they are the most consistent voters. But the President does want to take away your Medicare. The $716 billion of so-called waste that he cut was nice profits for some of my good friends. Voters who are 54 or 55 should know that Romney is going to screw you. He will leave you out to the dogs of private insurance. Those dogs are my friend, and they need every billion of profits that they get off exploiting the sick and old. I don't want the government telling me what kind of health care I get. Bill Clinton's chief of staff helped with our bill, so you should trust it, because I said Bill Clinton. Listen, old people, private insurance companies will eat you alive. I protected my grandma for them, and I'll protect you too. Medicare now! Must talk about it! Chill out, psychos. You two are very different on health care. Explain. I talked to this lady once. I know that people can't afford regular insurance, and Obamacare will be even more expensive. He's trying to hurt families. I'm trying to protect them. Obamacare makes businesses not want to hire people. Obama hurts families and kills jobs. I talk to common people, too, every four years or so. One last point. Sorry, time's up. No, you took the last of my time to say time's up. Bitch, do I look like Jim Lair to you? Moving on. Even though you're doing the same thing in the country that I did in my state, mine is better because it's bipartisan. Republicans make better bipartisan plans. I agree that for things to work, they have to be bipartisan or started by a Republican. Just like closing loopholes, he hasn't shared a plan of how he'd do things differently besides leaving it to the states. Repeating Obamacare would leave 50 million people without insurance. In my opinion, government sucks at bringing down the price of anything. As a matter of fact, I'm only involved in government to keep it as much out of the way of private businesses as possible. Speaking of which, what should the federal government's job be? The federal government should protect the people as much as foreign PACs bribe us to do so. We should also start programs like Lincoln did to enhance opportunities and increase American freedoms, not restrict them like my policy on state medical marijuana does. We should help schools hire more teachers with more federal education programs that don't work. My state is number one in education, so ha! I believe in promoting life and liberty with a military that controls lives and liberties in other countries. We should trust God's people to look after one another instead of worrying about Americans who can't look after themselves. That's what God is for. What are your thoughts on education? Let the states and local levels deal with it. What we have doesn't work, so let's privatize. Romney doesn't think people who can't afford college should get to go. How do you two plan on dealing with partisan issues as president? Well, it's easier for me because Democrats do not instinctively fight everything a Republican proposes. They are reasonable enough to remember we're bribed by the same people. I agree that we're mostly bribed by the same people, but sometimes we have to dramatize fights between us so that the masses still think there's a difference. Kind of like this whole debate or this whole election, huh? Well, with that, we'll just have your closing points. American people make the country great. Sometimes I talk with some of them while campaigning. I'm trying to close our deficit in a balanced way and create more jobs that help the middle class. Give me four more years to do it, and I promise not to indefinitely detain you. I'm concerned about the direction America has headed in the last five years. The eight years before that were just peachy, though. If you elect this mistake again, he will destroy the middle class, rob metal care, and raise prices of everything. If I'm elected, we won't have Obama. Thanks for tuning in. 
the next big waste of your time will be the vice presidential debates enjoy